2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elvey, and with me in the booth is 2002 PGA Champion Rich B. Yeah, thanks for having me, Luke. I gotta say, I'm excited about the day's action. See how it all unfolds. Glad to be alongside you, my friend. Time for the second shot into the first. And here we are with the third shot. And here we are with their four. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Yeah, putting for bogey here. Starting the round above par today. And a stumble on the opening hole never sets the tone very well. It'll be interesting to see how they react. He's currently tied for 13th. This hole is a par five. Players looking to make four here, but never disappointed with a par five. Well struck. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. And choosing the eight iron here. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Putting for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. Big putt for par coming up. That gets the job done. Currently at plus one for the day. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Here we are at the third. Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult part of three to say the least. And he's safely on the green. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Henny. You've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this part 17 feet from the cup.
Just need to pull the putter back a little bit further, I think. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yep, well hold for bogey. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. The fourth of TPC, Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Sitting at two over par. A putt for a place in the top ten. Oh, just missed. Par putt coming up here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Now three strokes back after that hole. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Uh, Luke, I gotta, I gotta say, I love your positive vibes, but unfortunately, that one has ended up in the bunker. Pretty good shot there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. You always like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to the tee of a par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. This is from miles away. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie.
What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. That'll sting a bit. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. Not bad. Sitting at three over. Well played, mate. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. That's some good golf right there. Chance to move up into the top 20 on the leaderboard. A good putt to make here. And that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last. Currently at two over par. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Par three, bunkers left and right, not an easy par three to say the least. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Ah, great shot. 16 feet to the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Okay, steady now. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And there it is. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. <laughs> Going with the eight iron here. Oh, come on, sit. And he's hit that inside the range. This putt 
to join those amongst the top 10 on the leaderboard. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Ouch, that hurts. Bogey putt coming up here. Oh, so close. And this one will be for double bogey. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left, pressure packed to say the least. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. From about 100 yards. Five shots off the lead. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Well, that's well played. and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Twelve feet to the cup coming up. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Now that's how you roll the rock. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the 11th. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Looks like they've got the five wood. A quality shot that and this one for back-to-back -back birdies oh so close seven feet to the cup just didn't drop this next putt is for bogey. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. This would be a great up and down. Good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole.
Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Sitting at four over for the day. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're gonna have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. And what's in front of them there, Henny? And from around 135 yards, wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. <laughs> Wonderfully played. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This one will run uphill. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And that shot back in the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that one just missed the hole. And he needs this to save par. On a nice line. Ooh. That's just about three feet away. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of fun can be had here. But be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? And from about 105 yards... Outstanding approach shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Well, Rich, I think they can make this one. 
I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. Like the look of this one. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. Sitting at five over for the day. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Par three. I don't need to mention the one on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. Looks to be going with the six iron. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And just about eight feet left to the hole. So far, so good. A well hold, you'll take the birdie. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Severe dog leg from right to left, second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. It's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Well, Rich, the 17th hole of TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th. It sets up another putt inside birdie range. This one's looking good. And with that putt hold, it's back to back birdies. And I like it two in a row. Our current leader is up by three shots. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. <laughs> no, that's not the shot they wanted. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Looks like they have a bad lie here in the sand. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And here we are with the third shot. This should play. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And this putt is for a final score of 73.
Indies are on rails, looking good. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. And as this event comes to a close, it'll be a top 10 finish for this player. Top 10s are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.